Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another review. Um, so here we are today. I'm going to be reviewing this pillow, uh, pneumatic or pneumatic um, blow up pillow. Now, I want to apologize again. Sorry for my filming location. This is just my room on my bed, and I'm using my M65 field jacket as the uh, stand in for the um, shelter half like I normally have. I try to keep this uh, shelter half background in all my pictures, or I mean, all my videos. I think it's a, a signature thing in my videos. And with the weather being the way it is, I have to film this inside. So, without further ado, here it is. The pillow pneumatic, or pen pneumatic, depending on how you want to say it. And up top is its national stock number. One each, DLA 1986, made September of 1986. So, I saw this on eBay, and um, I kind of knew about these things. Uh, I just never really thought I'd get one anytime soon. They're, they're not rare by any means, but I think these older ones are just a tad uncommon. I know there's... I saw a picture of one once from 1968 or 69 that was OD green, and it looked just like the, uh, the pneumatic... Um, uh, pneumatic uh, sleeping or uh, inflatable bed or whatever um, the air mattress so I'm pretty sure this one is white um, from what the dude showed in the pictures turns out that this dude actually lives like I don't know probably a 20 30 miles away from here for me, so that's kind of interesting. Paid three dollars for shipping, so probably could have just met him online. But his description for everything was really weird, so I'm not sure if I wanted to meet him in person. Um, he offered international shipping, but not to China. He said he didn't want fakes made, so I guess if you ship something from China, you know for sure it's gonna get made into fakes. Okay. Great logic. Pretty sure the Walmart camping section already has something like this, but hey, whatever. Anyways, so I thought that was interesting. And so far, my only complaint with it is that. I already blacked everything out so you guys don't have to look away or anything, but he shipped, he, he just shipped it in its own package, which, I mean... I guess that's cool and whatever. I don't know about you guys, but I really hate it when people do this. Because now I really can't preserve the uh, the package completely intact like I would have liked to. But, whatever. So, anyways guys, let's open this thing up. And, uh, um, yeah. I'm going to try and open this thing without damaging it. So, <coughs> wish me luck. I've been sick the past few days, so I haven't been able to, well, I haven't felt like really doing anything, so. Just kind of been lounging around. But today I had to work. I'm a cart pusher, like I mentioned before, and I, I work mornings now, which... In the summertime, it was perfect, but now it's kind of annoying. Or in the wintertime, it's it's annoying, but in the summertime, it's perfect. Because I always got to deal with the weather. Alright. So, here it is. And there's nothing else in there. And this thing is really oily, uh, kind of stiff. If 
you guys can hear that. So, oh man, Ugh. it almost looks like mold to me, guys. It smells like minty or something. But yeah, that almost looks like mold, so I don't know about this one. <laughs> um Alright, I'm gonna set the camera down and then just Yeah. Alright, so, there it is, it has uh, three quadrants, it's two small ones, and then this very big one, um, I think you're supposed to lay with your head on that end, and then the the gap in the middle is kind of just help uh, your head rest, and then it has this cover for the valve, and then it's just kind of normal, like the normal kind. Um, I think this thing is meant to be reusable. I'm not 100% sure on that. It's very thick. Um, and I, I don't know. I can imagine that these things were probably designed f to be used in hospitals or uh, I don't know. Um, possibly in the field. I can't imagine uh, these things. I mean, looking too cool with this thing, but whatever. Um, I could imagine maybe GIs getting these things and cutting them across the uh, the quadrant here that separates the three, and maybe using each individual one as like a waterproof pouch for something, socks, underwear. I don't know. That's just speculation to me. Um, I would have like. I would really like to get the. The OD green ones are just like the uh, air mattress. Um, but I don't know where you can get those. So I just got lucky and found this thing on eBay. I mean, I saw a whole bunch a whole bunch of newer ones too that I probably should have looked into. But uh, I went with this one. Um, it's about... It's smaller than the average size of pillow. It's more like a square pillow. Um... Yeah, just a square pillow, that's pretty much it. I can't imagine that this thing is too comfortable. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to blow it up just because there's oil like all over this thing. Even the, uh, the I guess, the tip where you're supposed to fill it, I don't know. Um, anyways, guys, so... Yeah, uh, kind of... Glad I didn't pay too much for this thing. Um, anyways, so... This is the... Pneumatic... Or Pillow Pneumatic from 1986. Like I said, there were a bunch more newer ones on eBay that... Um, I heard were pretty much the same way, just like this. Except they couldn't wash out the oil. I'm gonna try to. Um, and then... There was this one, so... Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the review. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys found it interesting. Um, if you're looking at buying into one of these things, maybe don't pay too much or just maybe pass it up. Um, that might be a better option. So, Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.